Omen Jaka Kusa Sang Po Kim Chu Salamat Pagyapa Kaba San Asante Bawana Taloifa Gira Hawaii Welcome to Oscar Oscar Bento Visual Ethnography and Storytelling My name is Ross Today I want to talk to you about being observant <coughs> excuse me, being observant in the outdoors, in the bush. I don't care where you are, whether it's the lowlands, the highlands, the ski fields, coastal areas, in the deserts, in the swamps, in the marshes, in a bamboo forest, in the Serengeti in the jungle, wherever you are. For your safety and for your general knowledge, you have to be observant. I think that makes general sense, doesn't it? But a lot of us aren't observant. A lot of us are ignorant and selfish. your visiting ancestral lands, I don't care where you are, whether you're in Australia or Vietnam or Kenya, I don't care if you're in Kansas, Ahmedabad or in Nairobi, you have to ultimately respect nature Not only physical nature, but spiritual nature. This has been taught by all tribal peoples all over the earth. It doesn't have to be physical. It's not just respecting the plants and the trees and the animals and the rivers and the lakes and the cliffs and the deserts, but the spirits as well. It's all integral, it's all entangled. We all have a spirit. I don't care if you are a homo sapien or a thylacine. We all, we all have spirits. Plants have spirits, rocks have spirits, rivers, lakes, swamps, marshes, mountains. They all have spirits. Just because you live in a Western society with air conditioning and a mobile phone and a motorcycle and mobile phone towers and microwave ovens and sunglasses doesn't mean that you aren't a part of nature. You are. It's just that your lifestyle and where you live and the society you've been brought up in and the education system you've been taught, for the most part, it's different to nature and the laws of nature, okay? I want you to get that into your head. Just because you think we're special, just because you think that we're the most intelligent being on earth and we can do whatever we want, doesn't give you the right to do it. Use your head, people. Use your spirit. Now, being observant and respecting, it's vitally important. As I say, I don't care if you're in the Serengeti or in the little desert national park in Western Victoria in Australia. Okay, it can save your life, but more importantly, you're treading lightly. Ta take nothing but photographs, leave nothing but footprints. I'll say it again, take nothing but photographs, leave nothing but footprints. Don't be selfish, don't be an arsehole, don't be arrogant. 
nature knows. Nature is watching you. And if you're grounded, if you respect nature, perhaps nature will come to you and talk to you in the most spiritual sense. If you respect nature, nature will respect you. Trust me on that. Whether it's the physical world or the spiritual world. It's very simple. I'll give you an example. You're walking along the bush path and you've got headphones on and sunglasses and you're going for a bush walk and you're crunching through the bush and all the birds around you are scattering and making noises, warning other animals. The snakes are fleeing, the snakes feel your heavy footsteps. They slither away or if you get too close they will attack you. I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying you're going to be attacked because you're disrespecting nature, but it's quite possible that karma and the laws of nature will come full circle. You have to understand that, people. Whether it's as simple as going for a bushwalk and not taking enough water and dying of thirst, or by or by be being bitten by a snake and not knowing first aid and what to do. Knowing the bush, knowing the herbal medicines, knowing what to do, stick to main paths, don't cut through the bush, don't chase an animal for a photograph, okay? They will come to you. Trust me on that. And if they don't, so what? If you intend on going for a bushwalk and seeing rhinoceros or lions or the, the big five or, or even if, if you just want a simple work, walk and you, you, you want to see wildflowers and tree ferns, if you're going to cut through the bush and st stomp everywhere, obviously the tree ferns and the wildflowers aren't going to grow in that location if everyone stamps in the bush. Again, it's common sense. So tread lightly. Be observant. Respect nature. You will be surprised how nature communicates with you. I've had all sorts of um, in the Western point of view, the Western thought process, I've had all sorts of things happen to me which are paranormal or which are unexplainable or which people so simply don't believe because they don't know nature, they haven't looked into it, they haven't look, looked into ancestral narratives and ancestral stories, folklore, fairy tales. I've seen a shape-shifting human. I've seen a bipedal male. I've smelt a yaoi. I've had a sick sense, a gut instinct, that they are close. I have been followed. I've been paralleled. I've even been chased out. They didn't want me around, so I left. I respected that gut instinct, that sick sense. I wanted to be left alone in their natural habitat. Perhaps I was too close to a family group. Perhaps I was too close to their water source. Perhaps they were tired and awoke them up from a siesta and they didn't want me around. You have to respect that. Okay? It's like Today I saw a kangaroo feeding and I asked the kangaroo, can I walk past? And the kangaroo didn't attack me, it just kept on feeding. 
and it said to me, yes. I actually asked it out loud. If I was arrogant, if I was rude, and even with regard to a gut instinct, a sixth sense, animals can feel they know what type of human you are by their senses, by their sixth sense, by their intuition, by their auras, by their spirit. I was quite close to, to this kangaroo. If I, if I wasn't calm and respectful, the kangaroo could have easily jumped towards me or just jumped away and not allow me to film it. Okay? Be gentle, be respectful, tread lightly. It's like being observant. You might have a tree stand and you're very quiet and then nature will come towards you. You might need to, to harvest a deer or an elk for you to survive. Nature understands that, but give nature the respect. After you harvest the animal, talk to that spirit, lay your hand on its body and thank it and thank nature around you. Okay. I'll end on a quote, and this is from Coco, the silverback gorilla, a female who um, lived in or was taught by the San Francisco Zoo many, many years ago. Coco was taught sign language to her. And one of Coco, one of Coco's last messages to us humans was, nature sees you. So you have to respect that. Don't be ignorant. And the sun's coming out now. Isn't that amazing? After just what I said, the sun is shining on my back and giving me warmth. Respect nature. Nature sees you. Okay, I'm going to end it on that. You be good. You be safe. And do your bloody homework. Thank you.